Hello, my name is Chris Johnson, and I'm the product specialist for OGP products for Cross Company. And welcome to our series of tips, tricks, and how to get things done using Zone 3 software. Hello, this is our tips section on how to use a touch probe to measure features and using the CAD model. If you've watched our basic alignment video, you have an idea of how we align the CAD model to the video. With all OGP multi-sensor systems, once we're aligned with the video, we're also aligned with a touch probe. Here, I'm going to use a star stylus, and we're going to measure a couple of features on this part using just the CAD model. So here, I'm going to attach the styli to the system, which you see there. It's a Renishaw uh, five-star styli. And here, I'm going to select our CAD model what we want to measure. So today I'm going to measure a circle. Just very basic. I choose which sensor I'm going to use, which is going to be the touch probe. I've installed it. I'm going to choose a circle, touch probe, then just simply come over to the CAD model. You can see the ring it's when I move the mouse. Simply just click on that do a path generation, and we can see the software shows us which way the touch probe is going to move around the part. We'll accept that path. Okay. And you'll also notice the software has a green box wrapped around it. That is our path generation, so we don't crash into the part. We can see that this styli is below the part, and it will move up and over. I'm going to select the Run button. We see the styli moves up and over the part. Simple and easy. We just measured a circle. Let's do another one. Let's look at this front scallop on this CAD model and we can see that there's just a radius there. So how would we measure that? It's the same way. We select a circle, <clears throat> touch probe, simply take the mouse and hover over the section we want to measure. Give that a click there. Path generation. And we can see the path generation icon is here and we can move our points just by clicking and dragging. And we can see that I've moved all the points within that one scallop. We'll select Generate Our Path. OK. Put our safe zones in. And then hit the Play button. And what we can see on the screen is the touch probe now coming in, measuring the scallop. And we can choose to use five points, or six points, or eight points, or however many that, that we would like. Okay, that's how we use a touch probe with a CAD model. <laughs>